Hello everybody and welcome to this month's blog for September. What I thought I'd talk about a little bit this month is preparing ewes for tupping time. It's now mid-September, we wean our lambs from our ewes about mid-August. The ewes have worked really hard all summer, reared their lambs, so they're likely to be a little bit uh, low in condition. We sort of maintain body condition for about six weeks and now we'll really think about building them up for tupping. It's a fact. Lambs are made at tupping time, not lambing time. So if you, it's really important that your ewes are in really good condition to go to the tup, and then you want them on a rising plane of nutrition. You know, a ewe will conceive lambs, and if she goes back in condition or is trying to scratch a living on poor quality forage, she'll probably reabsorb a lamb, and that makes a big difference to your end lambing percentage next spring. So it's really important that they're in good nick and they're nice and even. Now what we'll start doing now is running the ewes through the race fairly regularly and condition scoring them. So I'm looking for ewes about a condition score three now. They get put into a particular mob. Anything under that two, two and a half goes into a mob and we favour them on the better tucker. And anything that's over fat will stay on some pretty ordinary stuff. We choose to lamb from the 1st of April. So the rams go out early November. So we've literally got six weeks now to get them into the sort of condition we want. It's really important on your farm that you find out which minerals and imbalances that you have on your farm. On our farm I find that if I give them a bolus that contains selenium and cobalt, the sheep will alter straight away. I can tell you in all my years of working with sheep that I've never seen sheep alter for the better like it after giving them a bolus. I like the boluses, they're given to them twice a year, once now in mid-September and then another in February. It means that that bolus is inside them and they're taking all the minerals that they need uh, to get their metabolism and their condition really good. If you put minerals out in buckets, you've got to rely on somebody moving them, you've got to remember the mineral and so on. So I opt for this bolus style of mineral giving. And as I say, I've never seen sheep alter like it. So we'll condition score the ewes on a regular basis. Run them through, get your ewes as even as you can. And I'm looking for a sort of body weight of around 70 kilos um, at tupping time, but it's really important when the tups go out that they're on that nice rising plane of nutrition. I guarantee it'll make a huge difference to your lambing percentages. Uh, in fact, this year I think we scanned at 195 percent, turned out 189. We lamb all of our ewes indoors, which I'm sure you saw on an earlier blog. Uh, time's flying by and I'm sure we'll make another blog in the lambing shed uh, next spring. So the ewes are then put into their mobs. I'll usually put them out into about mobs of 200. Our flin ewes that run with pure flins get 1 to 70, so 1 ram to 70 females, and I'll put them out in mobs of 210. I think this year we've got 1,250 to go to the tup, so it'll be flin tups. It's really important as well that your tups are in good order. Get out there and look at their feet. Don't ignore your tups. You know, you can judge a good shepherd or a farm by the way the tups are walking on their feet at this time of the year. So your tups, your ewes in really good order. Get them on nice tucker now and build them up to an even body weight. I can't emphasise strongly enough how important it is to get all your ewes in a very even condition. Because of course when November comes you're probably short of a bit of tucker. We'll save clover lays and so on and get the sheep onto those lays so that they're on that rising plane of nutrition and I guarantee that you'll have a good lambing percentage. It's uh, really important. Uh, good tupping time, thanks very much.